What's going on fishing buddies? Welcome back to the channel. Surf fishing Perdido Key today. Early morning bite, high tide. I think I'm going to be able to get on a multitude of different species. Whiting, Spanish, could be some pomps running around, and hopefully bluefish. Let's get it out there. Giving my new Blue Dot Outfitters cooler here a run on the beach. I, I got this for the kayaks, for the back of the seat of the kayaks, but playing with it out in the garage, I found that it strapped nicely right to the front of Beach Nasty here. So giving it a run, checking it out. So far I'm digging it. This is this holding all my refreshments. My most important item to bring to the beach. Let's do some fishing first, then I'll get into this cooler. Go ahead and grab some fleas. This time of year, it's just easy. So usually I'm just walking on the beach, grabbing some fleas before I even set up. I see them everywhere. Got a couple in there to get us started. Got one on. He's staying down too. It might not be a ladyfish. That's a Spanish, I believe. Bring him in. Nice Spanish, dude. That's that's a tank. That's a tank. All right, this guy got a measuring fork length. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to break out the tape measure. Tank of a Spanish, guys. This guy is probably 17. We're gonna get him measured up. He hit the easy flea fish bites with that red frisky float. If you go back a few videos, you'll see me using that red frisky float that he sent to me. I don't think it's on the market yet. We're just kind of testing things out, but it's definitely been producing. He's 18. 18. Yep. Is he on there? Fish number two. Get him, buddy. Same rod, same float, same bait. Larry, get out of my picture. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a little blue runner. Little blue. All right, that's our bait. We just reset them. I already got a hit. You got it, buddy. Stop. There you go. You got the motion. You got him. No! <laughs> That's a good one. That was a good bend. That's on the 12-footer, too. So that's a stiffer rod. It still had a good bend. Come on. That's a pompano, baby. <laughs> nice pompano. That's going to be a keeper for sure. Oh, I don't know. He might not make it. Ain't gonna make it, guys. He's 10 and a half, gotta be 11. Get it, oh, that's a big one, dude. That's a big one, hold on. We don't wanna lose this guy. Oh, no. Did you lose him? Yeah, he's gone. Ah! Oh. He popped that one. Ah! Oh. Yep, yeah. little whiting. All right, whiting her around. Right off the beach, little piece of shrimp. Single drop, just the three beads on the Perdido Blaine rig. I lost the top float due to a bluefish. So I just trimmed it up, kept with the three beads on the bottom, fresh dead shrimp, nice little whiting. Oh, we are blowing up here. Come on, start burning it back. Let's burn, keep the rod tip down. There you go, burn it back. There you go, get him. Get it, pull him in. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> nice lady on the eight foot six. Let's see if we can get another one. There you go. <laughs> get him, buddy. Jumping on you. That's good. That's another lady. That's good. Not a terrible day. That nice 18 inch Spanish, little whiting. That pomp, almost legal pomp. Some ladyfish, the clients had a good time. They were able to actually, it was so thick out here with I believe it was bluefish, Spanish, and ladyfish. It was just some mixture of them. Um, we had a couple rigs get bit and broken off. So that tells me it was either the Spanish or the blues. But the clients were able to actually cast out lures 
and burn them back and catch some fish that way, which is an awesome experience for beach fishing. Get into this cooler again. Again, this is Blue Dot Outfitters. Has a nice little pocket in front for whatever, like your dry snacks. Folds up here to kind of square things off. You just clip in here. This will pull this down, keep everything tight. Again, just to kind of expand it, make more room. And I like these, these are just little bungees. This is what actually attaches to the back of your kayak seat. But just playing around with it in the garage, I felt it was a great fit for Beach Nasty here. You just have these little straps, plenty of room inside, guys. I'm just using little ice packs. I had five bottles of water in there, protein shakes, some Pop-Tarts, a banana, and I still had plenty of room. Everything is still cold. These guys are still frozen. Just a great addition to the beach cart. So you're not having to keep your drinking water, your snacks mixed in with your catches. And it's not big and bulky to where it's taking up a lot of room in your beach cart. So if you guys are interested in this, I think they have a few different colors. You guys check them out, blue.outfitters.com and pick yourself up one. This guy would also work like if you didn't have the upgraded handlebars like I got. All these upgrades you guys see here are from Deerfield Fabrication and Welding out of North Carolina. The wheels and the powder coat came from Beach Power Manufacturing here in Gulf Shores, Alabama. So I got a combination of two companies. And then of course, Fishing Mate was the original frame. But this guy would attach just like right to the side here of your beach cart. Again, you would just Flip over the bungees, attach them. I'll go ahead and do it. And then you got that guy kind of on the side out of the way. Looks like this guy would also fit in the back there, just kind of behind everything. I mean, it's just endless. With these straps, you could just strap this guy to your liking, wherever you would like. Put him on the front, wherever. Sweet little cooler. I had a mullet juice incident a few weeks back. If you guys are following me on Facebook, you might've read about it where my bait, like the mullet I had bought, the bag was open and like the oil leaked all over a water bottle. And when I was drinking it, it got in my mouth and I, <laughs> I couldn't shake it. Uh, I was eating, I, I think two meals and it was just with me for hours. I've always mixed just my drinking water and my catches and my bait, it's never bothered me but now it does. So I started researching a, a good bag to have for snacks and stuff. Sean Lawless from the Lawless Tide recommended me Blue Dot and I reached out to them. They were willing to work with me. But they sent me one in and um, I was thinking mainly it was gonna be for the kayak. But again, after I got in the garage and I started playing around with it, I saw it fits perfectly on Beach Nasty. So I will just kind of transfer it back and forth. I'll put it on the back of the seat of the kayak when I'm kayak fishing and use it out here on Beach Nasty when I'm beach fishing. Blue Dot Outfitters, you guys check them out. If you guys are enjoying the videos, please hit me a like, hit me a subscribe, really helps out the rhythm of the channel. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. If you would like to do a surf fishing guide like my friends today, you can find all my rates at perdidoblaine.com. Till next time, fishing buddies.